A superhero is nothing without their suit. Most of the time, a super suit is simply used to protect a hero's secret identity or to give them a defensive boost. But sometimes, a super suit offers such a huge power boost that the wearer gains access to a whole new realm of possibilities. So here are the top 10 of those suits. At number 10, we have Steel. The origins of this hero are very wholesome with Dr. John Henry finding motivation to become the newest version of Superman after trying to save the Kryptonian from Doomsday. And when he completes his mission, he ends up with one of the most powerful armors out of any comic book superhero ever. After showing his potential as a superhero with a massive of Sledgehammer and the courage to face Doomsday himself, John takes it upon himself to craft a fully protective super suit and go by the name of Steel. On top of the offensive capabilities that his smart hammer offers, his suit brings to the table all the defensive stats he could ever need, as well as the mobility of a flying superhero due to the rocket boots attached to the armor as well. It's an all-around impressive piece of armor and endows Steel with enough protection to withstand attacks from the likes of the Eradicator as he tries to live up to one of the most coveted symbols to ever be worn on a superhero's chest. At number 9 we have the Rocket Red Armor. Referring to the armor given to the Rocket Red Brigade members during the Green Lantern Corps comics, this dynamic armor deserves a spot on this list even if it comes as a bit obscure to some fans. This army of Soviet heroes are equipped with some of the most impressive armor out of any superhero. Aside from giving the wearer flight capabilities and upgraded defensive stats, the suits are even known to, in some cases, present a special mecha sense, meaning that the suit can influence other machines and take control of their movements for a time. Now, one rocket red suit is nothing compared to the Iron Man armor, which we'll of course be exploring later, but the fact that these suits seem to be mass produced and are easy enough to navigate, the suit gets a major power boost, especially given that multiple rocket red soldiers seem to be able to work them with what appears to be total ease. At number eight is the Blue Beetle armor. This hyper adaptive and seemingly sentient armor proves that sometimes the suit really does make the man or whatever the saying is. And in this case, I'm referring to Jamie Ray's Blue Beetle armor, which has been known to withstand attacks from the likes of Superman and Green Lantern. But aside from the amazing defensive stat that the suit offers, there's also a whole array of offensive potential that it brings to the table. For example, due to the suit's symbiotic nature, it can actually craft weapons on command that best suit the enemy the wearer is facing in the moment. Like the time when Superman is in opposition to Blue Beetle and the suit crafts kryptonite weapons in preparation for the fight. A suit that's basically alive and has the ability to turn any regular mortal into a pretty high ranking superhero definitely deserves a spot on this list and would rank much higher if we didn't have plenty more powerful entries to cover coming up. At number 7 is the Hellbat armor worn by Bruce Wayne. Forged by the rest of the Justice League, the Hellbat armor is what you get when you befriend the most powerful and influential superheroes in the DC Universe. And considering that Batman began as a super powerless detective, seeing him wearing this suit of armor gives us pause for a moment, realizing how far he's really come. The suit is given a speed test by The Flash. It's given a technological foundation designed by Cyborg and is forged in the center of the sun by Superman himself. The armor is so powerful that the intention in creating it is to help a human with no superhuman abilities withstand the cosmic level escapades that arrive on the Justice League's doorstep on the daily. The only downside for the suit is that it runs on Bruce Wayne's metabolism and eventually kills him if worn for too long but he's got some good friends to ensure he doesn't take it too far. I mean, not everyone gets to say that their friends have crafted them super powered suits of armor just to make them feel included. At number six is the very powerful one and only Black Panther suit, Black Panther Habit. I think it's fair to say that the Wakandans have the technology and armor game on lock with only Tony Stark as their competition at this point. With their access to vast vibranium reserves right on their home soil, they can craft some of the most invulnerable and dynamic super suits of all time. The suit T'Challa wears is known to be totally bulletproof and nearly indestructible, all while staying totally lightweight and aerodynamic. But the most notable feature is of course the energy redistribution property which vibranium offers by nature. And taking advantage of this feature, Shuri's craftsmanship allows for the suit to let out a kinetic energy pulse on command 
which proves to be one of the defining features of the suit. Black Panther Habit is also outfitted with a dynamic comm system and the signature vibranium claws which T'Challa uses to slice through ironically some of the toughest armors out there. Not to mention the suit can materialize onto the wearer on command making it just about as versatile as it could ever need to be. At number 5 we have Armor, like the hero named Armor, the mutant named Armor's Armor. First appearing in Joss Whedon's Astonishing X-Men, Hisako Ichiki is a superhero who goes by the mantle Armor. She has the power to summon a transparent suit of armor which grows in durability based on her memories of her ancestors. Basically, the more members of her bloodline die, the stronger the armor will get. This suggests that the armor doesn't really have a ceiling on how powerful it can become. Hisako also has the ability to control the size and weaponry of the armor on command, one time even holding her own in a face off against Fing Fang Foom. The only weaknesses the armor has are that it can't block lasers and it can't block adamantium. This is demonstrated when Wolverine's claws pass right through the suit but stop when his fist is held back from pushing them in any further. Although this is a pretty significant set of vulnerabilities, the armor is so durable that it still deserves a higher spot on this list. I mean, it can withstand a blow by the Muramasa blade which is known to kill regenerative mutants with ease. So. There's that. At number 4 we have Spider-Man's Iron Spider Armor designed by Stark Industries. This suit sports the signature Waldos as they're called on his back which help with everything from mobility to reconnaissance since each arm has a high def camera on the tip. It also has a glider built in which can greatly extend the distance between web swings. Of course it has a massively increased durability stat and a mask filter that can be used to protect against dangerous gases and even used for underwater navigation as long as it doesn't exceed the 8 minute compressed air capacity. And just to keep Spidey from needing to use his own regeneration powers, the suit itself has its own repair system that can self repair damage in real time. This suit has it all and when Spider-Man is given this much to work with in combination with his already versatile power set, it's easy to imagine how much more effective of a hero he can be. At number 3 is Batman's Justice Buster Armor. With all the insane suits that Bruce Bruce Wayne has used over the years, you best believe that there'd be another of his on this list. As the name suggests, the suit is originally designed to combat the Justice League when they go against him during Batman Endgame. Quite different from the Hellbat armor, it's kind of the opposite. For the Flash, there's the Red Run gun controlled by an aimbot with servers that process at speeds faster than the Flash's movements. For Aquaman, there's a shoulder cannon that fires this pink foam which dehydrates the target. Then there's an electromagnetic nerve tree as it's called which can paralyze cyborgs mechanical operations. For the Green Lantern there's a citrine neutralizer which uses yellow quartz to prevent him from using his powers endowed by the ring. And for Wonder Woman it's got the bind of veils which is an interesting one. It's a lasso made of an ancient sheep's wool that entraps the target and freezes them in a state of perceived victory since Wonder Woman never relents. And finally, for Superman, there is a plasma shield that deflects his heat vision, as well as the red giant knuckles, which contain multiple miniature red suns, which are another of Superman's weaknesses. So, although these features are quite particular to a battle with the Justice League, there's no question that this suit is one of the most powerful superhero suits of all time. At number 2 we have the XO Man of War armor. At number 2 we have the XO Man of War armor. This is the only entry on the list that comes from Valiant Comics and it's a big one. This suit of armor is unique in that it is so powerful that it has its own presence and reputation before the wearer even comes into play. Almost like the Destroyer armor which is an honorable mention on this list. But the Man of War armor is actually guilty of killing its wearers if it deems they aren't worthy of its use. Use. But when it does find a user, boy does it offer a huge power boost. When it chooses its new owner, Arik, the suit literally makes him into a king. By putting on the suit, the wearer basically gets the benefit of laser blasters, an extremely durable exoskeleton, and of course the gift of flight, among many other benefits. The suit also brings the Chosen One a huge level of respect considering the armor itself is ancient and has been worshipped like a god by an entire race of people for centuries. On a list about powerful suits, this just strikes me as the suit of all suits and only gets clinched for the first position because of who rightfully deserves it overall. And that is Iron Man at number 1. 
with the Godbuster, aka Model 63 armor. First appearing in Tony Stark Iron Man number 10, this suit of armor is just beyond comprehension in so many ways, to the point where after designing it, Stark actually feels the need to destroy it immediately after. First designing the suit in a virtual reality system called Escape, Stark has free reign to design any suit he could ever dream of with limitless capabilities. And what we end up with is the Godbuster armor. And once it comes to life in the VR landscape, Tony decides he wants to create a real one. What's slightly frustrating about this armor though is that not much is known about its true capabilities because of how quickly it's put out of commission. But Tony's brother Arno deems it Tony's masterpiece and Ironheart gets unprecedented power level readings when she scans it. We can assume that the massive cannon on the back and the complex network of tubes and wires have the ability to stop even the most powerful of enemies, but that's still all we really know about it. Either way, if one was to doubt this suit's abilities, I could easily replace this number one spot with Iron Man's God Killer Mark II armor, which deserves this spot just as readily. Sorry, but Tony Stark is just the king of super suits. It's all he's got after all. All right, that was the list. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below with your own list or any individual superhero suits that I may have missed. This has been Top 10 Nerd and I've been your host, Ben Ball. You know the rest. Take it easy.